in difficult times, politically, socially, economically, you know, uh, medically, <laughs> one of the things complexity does is makes me remember that everything can change in an instant. And the things that make the profound changes may be things that are happening out of your peripheral vision, barely noticeable, and then turn out to be the most profound turning points. And when things are going really well and you're very excited and think that, oh, the world I wanted to see come into being is coming into being, and then you lose it just like that. But at the same time, you think, oh, the world is nothing like I expected. All my hopes seem to be crumbling. All my expectations and intentions seem to be for nothing. And then suddenly there's hope and exhilaration and things suddenly speed in another direction. Um, I, I won't say which side of the equation I was on, but I have experienced both the election of President Obama and the election of President Trump. And both of those turned out to be not as good or terrible as I thought, and just as good and terrible as I did not expect. <laughs> um, and so I find myself arguing with, with arguing <laughs> with friends of mine who um, are pessimistic and angry and frustrated and fearful that it's not logical or reasonable to hang on that tightly to that despair and anger. Just as overconfidence is not warranted either. And it's complexity that has helped me find a middle ground where I can feel um, cautiously op optimistic enough that I'm not being ground down, but anxious enough to propel me to take action because maybe it will be one small gesture for me that is the random element that suddenly changes the course of things. You can't know. So, um, so how am I doing? Thanks to complexity, I'm not depressed. <laughs> I'm not grinding my teeth at night. Um, I'm not having too many migraines or back spasms. And, um, and I wake up every morning sort of ready to like go, okay, what's next? That's why knowledge matters.